Hello, I'm Hans van der Kwast from IHG Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Crayfish plugin to visualize the output of the Saga flow direction. The Saga tools can be found in the processing toolbox. The Crayfish plugin has been developed by Lutra Consulting to uh, work with mesh data. So the first step that we are going to do is to look the, up the Crayfish tools in the processing toolbox. We will use the conversions and under conversions you find Saga flow to grip. In the dialog we fill in as input raster the flow direction that is a result from the Saga tools to cal calculate flow direction. For the output we have to define the grip file which is the mesh grid. So we give it a name, it will be saved as the GRB format and then we run. We will find the result in the browser, which we might have to refresh. We can drag the GRB file now to the map canvas. It takes some time to load. After loading you'll see this. And we find it in the layers panel with the mesh icon before the layer. Now in the styling panel we can style it. Let's close the processing toolbox. And first we indicate that we want to see the arrows. So we click on the arrow symbol. Next we'll uncheck show contours. And then we go to the arrows menu where we can change some parameters to get a better visualization. So here we can change, for example, that the arrow length should be uh, fixed. And we change it to 3, for example, and when we zoom in we see the result. Then the arrows are drawn in each pixel, indicating the direction. We can also play around with the head options giving different values and see what then is the best result. These are defined as the percentage of the shaft length. Another way of visualizing is to display vectors on a fixed user grid. That makes it also easier to see the flow and it uh, is also easier when we zoom in and out to see the result. When we play a bit around with the values, we can see if we zoom out that we see now the general flow direction uh, at a zoomed out level, which is quite useful. 